Good evening. Tonight's seminar begins with the playing of our national anthem, performed by senior student Gloria Tacky. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming and the That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the Good evening. Welcome to BCIST's 2020 Commencement Ceremony. I stand before you as the proud principal who knows what you went through to achieve tonight's milestone. 13 years of compulsory education is coming to closure tonight, a moment you have been waiting for. At this time, I'd like to introduce our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Christopher Nagy. Good evening, Board of Chosen Freeholders, Board of Education members, distinguished guests, parents, family members, guardians, friends of our graduates, administration, faculty, staff, and most importantly, you, our graduates. Who could have ever predicted that COVID-19 pandemic would arrive and interrupt our lives over the past few months? That we would be engaged in e-learning during school closure and yet not miss a beat? thanks to our one-to-one -one Chromebook environment launched in September, and that extracurricular activities and athletic activities would be canceled or done virtually among many other school and social functions. We never before heard the terms such as social distancing or self-quarantine, or whoever thought that we'd be wearing masks wherever we would go. In fact, who would have predicted that our professional development over the past two years for staff in the use of Google, Google Suite, Zoom, and a host of other apps would position all of you to learn, albeit in a virtual environment, as a senior. Glad we were all prepared. You and I will never be the same because we have migrating through disappointments, social distancing, virtual birthdays, drive-by celebrations, air kisses, and hugs and a host of various other inconveniences. But together we have rallied and believe that tomorrow will be better a result of what you and I have learned during this time here at BCIT, but also while at home over the past few months. Looking back, we certainly took a lot for granted, but no longer. Within the past few weeks, we have seen and we've felt the rage, anger, an inequity associated with the senseless death of Mr. George Floyd. It showed the need for peaceful conversations and structural changes 
to promote equity and tolerance while celebrating our diversity and realizing that together and respecting one another, we can accomplish much. Yet I am an optimist and there is a silver lining. Among the pain, emotional stress, and disappointment over the past few months, we have learned a lot about ourselves, what we never thought we could do, how creative we could be, and how determined we could be to survive if not thrive, and to stand in our truth. These types of experiences we don't ask for, but respond to from the very depths of our inner being. And it is here where character, resilience, flexibility, resolve, determination, entrepreneurship, and hope are nurtured. This year, Alicia Keys provided her virtual commencement address to the Savannah College of Art and Design students from home, and at the end sang her latest hit, No One. I was struck by her words. Be unafraid to be completely you, and accept all those other individuals you meet as they are. You know what I mean. And join together, because nothing can get in the way. Nothing's ever going to get in the way of your greatness. No one. Legally blonde actress and Emerson University graduate Jennifer Coolidge provided her alma mater's commencement address this year virtually. She shared with this year's graduates the following advice. Life is a storm, my graduates. You will bask in the sunlight in one moment and be shattered in the rocks in the next. What defines you is what you do when the storm comes. Your class has been exposed to significant social, economic, and geopolitical events and storms such as the COVID-19 pandemic, the 2008 market crash, and senseless acts of brutality such as that of Mr. Floyd. A pessimist would say, this is not fair. We deserve better or life will never be the same. I encourage you to be optimists and to see this as one of the greatest inflection points and opportunities ever at such an early stage in your lives to take lessons learned and to be courageous and be the change you want to see in the world and to be the linchpins upon whom others rely and seek leadership. Never has there been a time so great since the Industrial Revolution when our local economy and national focus have been so ripe for the need for career and technical education graduates. We learned from this pandemic how much we as a nation rely upon the goods and services of China. That will change. It has to change. Your class is among the select few who've earned industry credentials while in high school and where many of you have earned up to two years of college credits while in high school, thus saving time and money while gaining valuable skills. Within the last few years, some graduates from BCIT have earned their college asso uh, associate's degree before graduating from BCIT. You are a class set apart. Your class has not only weathered storms of life, but are changed people as a result. And leave BCIT with memories, a good education, certifications, and confidence to enter uncertainties of the future with optimism, hope, and conviction. Graduates of BCIT, your future will be determined by your ability not to work inside the box or outside the box, but rather to go where there is no box and to create new pathways and opportunities. That marks a journey of opportunities and many more milestones such as tonight. It indicates that we must continue to be lifelong learners who are willing to take roads less traveled or forge new ones that do not yet exist. Your class has embraced this entrepreneurial and enterprise mindset while understanding that disruption will be the new normal. We need to be agile, flexible, team builders, and lifelong learners, and be willing to learn from mistakes and be willing to take risks. A COVID-19 pandemic experience cannot go wasted. There are so many lessons to be learned that will build our character, resolve, resilience, ingenuity, tolerance, and respect for ourselves and others. Your graduating class understands what Melchior Lim meant when he said, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. 
Remember the importance of the power behind the great work of our administration and staff and what they have done to educate you and the principles of respect, tolerance, forgiveness, and perseverance you've learned despite the challenges you face each and every day. Know that we not only see you, are here for you, but most importantly, we believe in you and the challenge and challenge you never to give up or lose hope. For you are the potential change the world needs today. Congratulations, graduates, on the special milestone tonight. Best wishes in all your future endeavors, and remember your alma mater, BCIT. Hello, faculty, administrators, distinguished guests, and the class of 2020. My name is Elena Kangle, and I am honored to represent the class of 2020 as a salutatorian. If someone told me my freshman year that I would be standing here giving this speech right now, I would not believe them. If someone told me that I would be having a virtual graduation, I would not believe them either. Yet, I stand before you today at our very unique and unprecedented graduation ceremony. I know that this is not the ideal graduation we pictured having. We imagined gathering with our friends, taking our last pictures in the hallways, and walking across the stage as our name is called and our friends and family cheer for us. I know that we are all really upset about not being able to experience our senior year to the fullest. We wanted to dress up in our prom dresses and tuxes, wander through Disney World on our senior trip, and play and eat all day on the senior picnic. I know that this is not fair, but I also know that we will overcome this battle with the strength that we have built together. As a class, we have been through so many obstacles, and with each and every one, we managed to come out stronger than ever before. I know that this pandemic took a lot from us, but it does not define what we have made of our experience throughout these four years. There is so much more that our class has accomplished and so many memories that we now hold on to and will cherish for a lifetime as BCIT Panthers. That being said, let's forget about all of our worries for just a moment and take a walk down memory lane. Do you guys remember coming into BCIT as freshmen on the first day of school? I don't think I could ever forget that day. I remember 15-year-old me looking around and thinking to herself, how am I ever going to make my way around this school? Little did I know, this place that was once so foreign to me would eventually become my home and the class of 2020 would become my family. During our freshman year, everyone gave us advice to make the most out of our high school experience because these four years fly by. And they definitely were not wrong because look at us, seniors, now graduating. It has been an eventful four years and we finally made it to graduation. I can confidently say that these four years were so far the best years of my life. I remember attending my first spirit pep rally during spirit week like it was yesterday. I remember attending my first homecoming dance. And I remember going to my first school basketball game and being amazed by our school spirit. This list of I remember could go on and on, but essentially from all of these experiences, I shaped myself to be the person that I am today. I met so many people and was rewarded with lifelong friends thanks to my time at BCIT. I want to give a special thanks to my best friends, Halal Teriyaki, Eliana Teets, and Gloria Taki for making my experience here unforgettable. Not everyone gets lucky enough to find friends like you. I also want to thank Mr. Kenny, Ms. Cubbage, Ms. Jenkins, Mr. Mazella, Mrs. Conlon, Mrs. Landry, and Mrs. Burledge for always believing in me. The world needs more affectionate teachers like you. I also want to thank my parents and sister for always having faith in me. I would not be where I am today if it were not for the endless support that I received from you. I know that this chapter of our lives was cut short, yet, as Steve Jobs said, the journey is the reward. And we, the class of 2020, made the most out of our journey here at BCIT. It seems as though every day our battle continues to face new difficulties and challenges. The year 2020 
has put us through more than all of us could ever imagine. Nonetheless, the class of 2020 is still fighting, reluctant to ever give up. The only way to cast light upon the injustice going on in our world right now is to use our voice. No one can take that away from us. So we must continue what we are doing. This is the only way we can create reform. To my fellow African-American friends, family, and community, we are not alone in this. The class of 2020 will forever support our fight by making it our own. Essentially, black lives matter then, now, and will matter forever. This is why we stand together as reformers, allies, friends, and safe spaces. This is why we all push ourselves to learn, listen, and grow. That being said, I just want to take a moment of silence to honor the death of George Floyd and all the men and women who have suffered and died at the hands of injustice and racism. Now lies ahead the next chapter of our lives, the part where we become adults and figure life out. Everyone is now going their separate ways to show the world what they are best at. This is not a goodbye. It is only the beginning of another adventure. Once again, I am honored to be a part of the class of 2020, the class that made history and the class that will forever be remembered. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. We did it, friends. Greetings to the members of the board, administration, faculty, parents, and most of all, the class of 2020. Welcome to the first ever digital high school graduation. My name is Sophia Rivera, and I have the absolute privilege of speaking to you today as the valedictorian for the class of 2020 at the West Hampton campus of Burlington County Institute of Technology. It was an incredible shock to me when I was told I was to be the valedictorian, and a small part of me simply felt unworthy. I can only think of those in my life who have pushed me to become the woman I am today. And it is to these people that I owe my everything. To my teachers, all of you have played a part in the student I am today. But to Mr. Mazzella, Mr. Lesher, Mr. Haney, Mr. Jefferson, Ms. Jenkins, Ms. Hannon, Mr. Bouchard, and Ms. Burledge, I owe to you my drive, dedication, the way I look at the world, and every success that I have achieved in these past four years. To my friends, to whom I see as the family I have chosen, Tobia, Milena, Ethan, Aisha, Sarah, Rocio, Reina, and Mike, I give to you all of my love and appreciation for the time you have dedicated to me. To my parents, my first and foremost largest supporters in any and every situation, I simply would be nothing if it were not for your continuous and unending love. And to God, I simply owe my everything. To BCIT, I would like to say thank you. In a time like this, it is astounding to see how our entire school has come together to make this ceremony happen and make our senior class feel valued for the time we have put in during these past four years. And I can tell you honestly, that senioritis probably gets to be about 10 times worse when you're sitting at home all day. <laughs> and yet our teachers, counselors, and administrators never faltered once to keep us on track. So to the faculty and administration here at BCIT, I can assure you that your constant support and dedication to us as students will not be forgotten. It's difficult for me to stand here recording this video and give you a textbook valedictory speech that we're all used to. As we all very well know, this year has been anything but normal. In fact, it has been ridden with hardship and loss. The loss of our normal routines, the loss of jobs and opportunities, and even the loss of many lives. These hardships have been brought on by an unconscious virus but also a very conscious and systemic virus that plagues our society with hatred and violence. This is a daunting time to be alive. And in all honesty, it might seem silly or insensitive to wish for the things we as seniors missed out on this year. Things like athletics, 
competitions, prom, trips, this graduation, or even just spending one last year with our friends. However, I can assure you that this is not selfish. As seniors, we are at a point in our lives that can be very divided. We are all entering the stages of our adult lives, and we know what a dangerous place the outside world is right now. We understand the harsh realities of life. Yet we are also trying our very best to hold on to whatever memories of youth and childhood that we have left. We are trying to grow up into the mature adults we've been told that we must become, yet also leave behind our adolescence without even saying a proper goodbye. Now I don't say these things as a discouragement, but to recognize the realities of what is happening. We as young adults are not ignorant of what a dire situation our world is in right now. But I am here to tell you, I truly believe that we, as the class of 2020, will come out of this as a unified generation. Franklin Delano Roosevelt said, no matter how long it may take us to overcome this, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. I believe this applies right now, not only for America, but for the world. At the time of FDR's presidency, the world was going through one of the most damaging and uncertain eras of its existence. This was a time when death, chaos, and panic were present at all times. A time when the dangers had never been so massive, despite the modern technology of those days. We are living through a crisis just as this right now a point in time that will live in infamy. The current condition of our world is completely unprecedented, even for the crises of FDR's time. But just as with the frightening times of the Great Depression and the Second World War, I believe that we are destined for victory. My fellow classmates, as seniors, we stand on the precipice of being the new leaders of this world. We are the ones about to enter the world and the fate of its future lies in our hands. This is no meager task, but it is ours to take on. We are the ready and willing to become the workers and the leaders in our jobs, at our colleges, in our communities, and in our government. We are a class that knows how to survive discomfort and uncertainty and still make great strides towards the life that we desire. We are the generation of change. As the world is changing right now, it will be our job to go out and change the world for the better. Over the course of this past year, it was remarkable to see a typical high school class unite and come together as a group of proud, intelligent, and amazing students, ready for what our futures had for us. Now, our circumstances are a little different, but this will not damage our futures. If anything, seniors, we are going to come out of this better than ever. Our entire worlds have been turned upside down and we have still progressed. We have continued achieving even when we are separated. Over these past months, I have seen the true potential of our senior class as we make our choices for higher education, entering the workforce, and just about everything in between. And if not most importantly, I have seen this class begin to take our places as the vocal and informed advocates for what needs to happen in areas of injustice, violence, and racism. Where some have been conveniently silent, others have taken the next step to inform, educate, and spread awareness that is so desperately needed in the world. Seniors, we have learned the hard lesson of change, and we have met it head on ready to be the innovators and leaders of the future. Class of 2020, we have already begun to build a legacy for ourselves. And frankly, I could think of no better group of people to go out and change the world. In these past four years, we have dedicated our education to learning a skill and perfecting it in order to build our futures. We are the diverse, well-rounded, strong workers that are needed right now in this crisis. So to many of us in our last year of high school who may be burdened with the thought of, so what? What's the point in all this? This is a sign of our purpose. This is not only our chance, 
but our responsibility to go out and start to build a new world. I heard one of our faculty members say, class of 2020 will go down as a class that endured something almost no other class had to. Now I implore you to remember this, but to also go beyond just that. Let this class be known for the success and prosperity we will bring to the world in its most desperate time of need. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Lauren Milanowicz, Assistant Principal here at BCIT West Hampton. It is my pleasure to oversee student activities and our PRIDE program. Our PRIDE program is such an integral part of our school community where approximately 50% of our student body are recognized each marking period. Because this program is so widely accepted, we recognize someone as the Pride Student of the Year each year at graduation. The criteria for this award are strong academic performance and or growth, mature behavior and good school community citizenship, satisfactory attendance, punctuality, and service to the school community. It is my pleasure to present the Class of 2020 Pride Student of the Year Award to Eliana Teets. Congratulations, Eliana. Dr. Nagy, Board President Silcox, the BCIT Class of 2020 has met all the requirements stipulated by the New Jersey Department of Education and our local requirements stipulated by the Board of Education and are now eligible to receive their high school diplomas. On behalf of the Board of Education, I accept the class of 2020 and acknowledge the completion of their state and local graduation requirements to receive a New Jersey endorsed high school diploma. Congratulations, graduates. Hello, I'm Mr. Lesher, and I'm here to present the Class of 2020. The Class of 2020 Valedictorian, Sophia Rivera. The Class of 2020 Salutatorian, Elena Kangle. The Class Officers, President, Jasmine Ford. Vice President, Xavier Goss. Treasurer, Halal Teriyaki. Truth, Tranquil, Promise, Abdullah Johnston. Florence, Adu. Abina, Minka, Asamine, Keja. Adenike, Adubimpe, Ajuguna. Billy Marie Alexander. Haley Irene Allen. Sean Shane Allen. Ashley Anderson. Avery Anderson. Christopher Andrade Eisenbach. Margie Lisbeth Andrade Garcia. Nicholas Anthony Arroyo. Maximus Arzio, Alicia Ash, McKenna Angeli Baldwin, Raina Barlow, Shelby Bernhardt, Evan Bissell Velez, Sierra Monique Brannon, Nicholas Brandt. Caleb Bright, Aaron C.J. Brown, Justice Brown, Jamar Brown, Eric Abuaji Buabang, Gia Marie Buckner, 
Andre Dion Burrell Jr. Nicaea Burrell. Kevin George Bustamante Villega. Thomas Edward Bygrave. Sydney Esser Cabrera Vasquez. Hussein Jalil Tekir. Raymanos Camper Jr. Michelle Campos. Alicia Jordan Carr. Christopher Donnell Carter Velez. Jada Blue Cartwright. Skyla Jade Cartwright. Isla Danae Charles. Ariana Lucille Childs. Carisha Camille Clayton. DeAngelis Antonio Clowney. Shakia Jose Ane Coleman. Christopher Wayne Coles. Mary Ellie Cologne. Irie Chanel Conaway. Igor Costa. Sierra Janae Cottle. Yane Course Perry. Tiana Sierra Crawley. Jordan Charles Alexander Cream. Ronaldo Gregorio Da Silva Jr. Matthew James DeGeorge. Ashenid Schneider Dorillas. Ludmila Diaz de Cunha. Alicia Marie Diaz. Adama Kenya Gigo. Dominique Miguel Dodamid Jr. Mikel Irene Dolo. Jean Carl Evans Dosu. Kiera Dosu. Naya Blue Dunn. Elisa Michaela Edgehill. Jessica Edwards. Sianna Lauren Ellis. Chike Chisum Kingsley Ezenwani. Joseph Falcone Roman. Martia Fenelon. Veronica Marie Fisher. Vaughn Donald Flippin. Jean Gardy. Fontaine. Stephanie Alexandra Ferrero Olea. Kim Laje Foreman Chibeta. Eulis Foster. Russell Evan Fox. Dwayne Francis Jr. Ravon Filler. Kaylin Teresa Fergus. Amira Galan. Ashley Marie Garrett. 
Matthew Judson Morris Gates. Siobhan Gales. Bryce Gieseman. Tazaria George. Gavin Robert Glosson. Kalila Gloucester Mini. Frankie Antonio Gonzalez. Carla Gonzalez Diaz. Jenna Goodman. Alana Design Gray. Mason Gregor Gray. Christian Green. Joshua Green. Angelo Green Jr. Erica Danielle Green. Brianna Marie Greaves. Sabelle Gunada. Rocio Gutierrez. Brooke Hampton. Sierra Diamond Harris. Shania Alexis Harris. Tajay Anaya Harris. Milena Sol Harvey. Joshua Alexander Haslund. Emmanuel Mark Isaac Hay. Leanna Ashley Henry. Timone Quoche Hicks. Kiani Bria Hooper. Mackenzie Horning. Siani Marcia Howe. Kiana Huggins. Nicole Hughes. Joshua Igulana. Lachelle Naray Jackson. Siani Jackson. Taran Joshua Jackson. Winston Michael Jalop. Luis Aisha James. Yasmin Jean Baptiste. Kyle Janeski. Naya Jade Jeter. Angel Johnson. Asia Samyaya Johnson. Michaela Johnson. Robert Wayne Johnson. Frances Sarah Canoe. Darren Carnbaye. Manpreet Carr. Tanner Kerman. Rumesa Kilik. Kelvin Coley. Catherine Elizabeth Conkle. Antonio James Kravitz. Amanda Avani Alexandria Lachou. 
Adina Tra Lamb. Thomas Steven Lambiese. Ayana Nashe Laramore. Jayla Tajay Lamour. Janaya Lighty. Kayla Lighty. Mason Nasir Lincoln. Michael Philip Lindsay. Daryl Keith Little Jr. Jason Michael Logan. Ayana London. Josephine Lopez Rodriguez. Charles Luck. Caleb James Luck. Ashley Marie Lugo. Ethan McAfee. David Mann Jr. Alexandra Nicole Marzak. Taj Marsh Hazelton. Roden Orlando Martell. Tamara Hawa Masakoy. Watson Joel Matos Jr. Edgar Josue Matut. Elena Luis McCullough Seabrooks. Michaela McDuffie. Nairobi Lene McNeil. Matthew Paul Myers. Torin Maurice Middlebrooks. Justin Mills. Antonio Miraglaulo. Gianna Nicole Moniz. Mariah Lynn Montgomery. Ashley Lynn Moore. Diana Moore. Jalissa Amy Morales Ortiz. Victoria Moreno Garcia. Angenique Morgan. Maya Nicole Mumford. Hadia Murphy Harris. Shantara Murray. Tyrese Myrick. Giselle Nascimento Sosa. Tyla Ayana Newborn. Janelle Jamaica Newland. Dylan Nguyen. Milan Monet Norman. Michaela Nicole O'Neill. Jeremiah Osiris Ochoa. David Oyamid O. Allison Ortiz Andrades. Sarah Owuso. Aaron Ozter. Scott Joseph Pantos. 
Kamina Agnes Parker. Friesel Dinesh Patel. Kinsey Paul. Nicholas Martin Paulson Jr. Justin Amir Peoples. Gabriela Doris Perez. Philip Frane Perez. Amber Marie Perry. Naveen Persad. Brittany Nabria Phillips. Jade Yamira Phillips. Ashley Nicole Pinkerman. Keon Theodore Pinky. Zoe Bliss Potter. Tobiah Maxwell Powell. Joel Imani Price. Christian Anthony Pisic. Cheyenne Marie Pywell. Jerisa Janae Ramsor. James Ryan Akinde Robbie. Jonathan Alexander Justin Roberts Harris. Shamira Janae Francis June Robinson. Niasia Gina Marie Rogers. Ethan Jason Rodriguez. River Michael Rodriguez. Marina Janelle Albina Rosado. Adam Lawrence Rosica. Michael Andrew Saints. Michael Jamal Sabi. Raina Lee Schlew. Madison Larray Scott. Michael Morris Scott Jr. Davister Christian LeBron Shannon. Stephanie Sarah Shaw. Haley Kidridge Sheridan. Douglas Brock Sherman Jr. AJ Simon. Danielle Anaja Singletary. Joshua Darnell Smith. Zaniah Smith. Dimitri Antonio Smith Bracero. Scott Clarvis Sones II. Stephanie Michelle Sosa. Bubakar So. Kariatu Musa So. Brianna Danielle Starling. Jacob Dylan Steinman. Donovan Anthony Stewart. Kayla Jacqueline Stone. Willie Corey Stone the Fourth. Sierra Andrea Strickland. 
Simone Amanda Sullivan. Gabrielle Mahogany Sutphin. Gloria Ajua Batisen Tacky. Camille Ida Aya Tarti. Tanea Ebony Taylor. Dakota James Thomas. Eliana Marie Teets. Sean Isaiah Till. Malachi Joseph Tinsley. Gabriel Ramen Trado. Robert Johnny Tolliver. Carlos Ivan Torres Martel. Aisha Camille Torre. Gorkum Alexander Trejo. Amber May Rose Tucker. Marcus Alexander Van Horn. Janice Lamia Vance. Eduarda Lorea Vasquez. Nancy Vasquez. Yaisha Marie Vega Vargas. Camilia Carissa View. Martin View Jr. Nashaya Aquin Vincent. Charletta Patricia Walker. Charletti Teresa Walker. Sarah Lynn Walsh. Jacob Michael Walter. Charles Ignatius Wells. Jalen D. Wells Green. Alana Yvette Seven West. Prayer Michelle White. Nia Amani Marie Whitehurst. Savion O'Mealy Witter. Micaiah Robert Wilcox. Jalen Michelle Wilder. Jahad Sincere Wilkins. Jasmine Trenise Williams. Jalen Amani Williams. Kelvia Kavia Williams. Sean Eric Williams Jr. Christopher Aaron Wilson. Howard Roydell Wilson Jr. Caitlin Sale Wilson. Keith Brian Wilson. Penfield Almed Wilson. Anija Antonia Witter. Felicia Wogren. Jada Shane Woodard. Kimberly Salon Yanez. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We love you. Hello, administration, board members, faculty, 
family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2020. My name is Jasmine Ford, and I've had the honor of being the class president for the class of 2020 for the past three years. Ever since the beginning of high school, I've dreamt of delivering this speech to my class. But ever since I began to write, I've been lost for words. Four years ago, we walked into the West Hampton campus of BCIT as immature freshmen. Nine months ago, we walked into West Hampton Tech as seniors, ready to fulfill one of the best years of our lives. Then, three months ago, the whole world stopped. Before quarantine, social distancing, and masks were a part of our everyday lives, us seniors were just beginning to fulfill one of the best years of ours. Friday, March 13th, would be the last day we will walk out of West Hampton Tech. We did not get to say goodbye to our friends, hug our favorite teachers, and cherish the last moments we had of high school. We can all agree that at times, it seems difficult to see the good in the situation we are in today. We had no senior trip, no prom, no senior picnic, and no true last day of high school. Still, even with being stripped of some of the most important events in our lives, our class has stayed diligent, hopeful, and most importantly, closer than ever. We understand each other's hurt, disappointment, and pain. But the class of 2020 is not just a group of graduating students who have lost out on major high school milestones. The class of 2020 is a group of adults going into the world with resilience, perseverance, and in my heart, heroism. Let me list some of the achievements that we've had over the past few months. Our girls basketball team were sectional champions for the second year in a row. The senior class has bragging rights of being winners for Spirit Week, go 2020, even though we did not get our ice cream social. The class of 2020 received $2.3 million in scholarship money. Our class officers created a way to keep our class together by creating student-led social media for College Decision Day. Most importantly, through this whole pandemic, our seniors have remained being our essential workers. When you see food service workers, grocery clerks, and nursing home workers, you are seeing the class of 2020. We have maintained a full school schedule and have been providing service through this crisis. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown this world many things, but it has shown me that I am so proud to graduate with the class that I am today. Charles Swindle once said, life is not not about what happens to you, but it is about how you react to it. So today I urge you, class of 2020, not to look at what has happened to us today, but how we have overcome it. We are not just a group of young people who have been quarantined during our senior year. Instead, we have shown that we are a gift to this world for generations to come. We hope, we persevere, and we are champions at heart. And now you are seeing 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. It's time for us to take our place in the world. Good evening. My farewell remarks tonight will conclude what has been an unprecedented year in education and the first ever virtual graduation. Primarily, I feel compelled to recognize the resolve and patience of you, your families, and our staff as we've navigated the uncharted waters of remote education. I commend those of you who have communicated honestly and openly over the past four months, advocating for your class and our students for which we care so much. For me, the experience provided an opportunity to form more connections and understandings with students than in past years. The class of 2020 has endured a unique set of circumstances a global pandemic, and protest for racial justice, all while sacrificing prom, final sports games, career and technical events, senior picnic, and traditional celebratory milestones, which typically binds us together as a community. In spite of these situations, we have endured and still managed to create a sense of togetherness in the present state of our world, which includes the knowledge of uncertainty. In the words of some powerful individuals 
I reiterate their responses to the current state of affairs and the inequities clearly present in our world. Beyonce calls for you to lead the movement that celebrates humanity, while Anthony Fauci appeals to an emphasis on social justice and service to others. For now is the time, if ever there was one, for us to care selflessly about one another. Megan Rapino simply says, I'm not going to ask you to come together. I'm going to ask you to demand better together. I truly believe the West Hampton campus has produced graduates who can fulfill these expectations. I hope part of your high school experience taught you to use your voice with honesty and integrity throughout life and has prepared you for the new initiatives and work experiences that will grow from our current situations. For surely we are resilient and hopeful individuals who will reinvent our future with positivity and prosperity. In the words of Malala Yousafzai, the class of 2020 won't be defined by what we lost, but how we responded. And how you have responded thus far is evident in your achievements throughout high school. Tonight, we are celebrating 294 graduates who have achieved one of life's milestones. Collectively, they received over $5 million in scholarship money. 204 students plan to attend two and four year colleges or other post-secondary institutions. Four individuals attend to represent our country in the armed forces and of the remaining graduates, the vast majority will be gainfully employed using the skills acquired here at BCIT. In addition, 19 were named either first team or second team Brunswick County All-Stars for various sports. Six players and three managers were part of a division winning group three sectional title in girls basketball. Two who were among the few who scored over a thousand points. As tradition, I would like to personally thank those who made this ceremony possible, including you, the families, our wonderful faculty, support and administrative staff, our freeholders, Board of Education, and Central Office Administration. Graduates, the world is now yours. Continue on your path of achievements. I can't wait to see how you respond to our world, whatever it brings, and to hear your success stories. Once again, congratulations, Class of 2020. I'm honored to lead my classmates in the traditional tassel turning. Graduates, please stand. As a symbol of the completion of high school, please join me in turning your tassel from right to left. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoice.
Louise James. Let's celebrate. 